Hey, it's Blake Nature Live. We're taking a little walk out here at the property. I wanted to show you the front section that we're keeping real woody. And we're only clearing out all in the middle. And over there is where the little farm's at. And my plants. And there's my truck. But you can see how woody it is. And this way you keep nature. And we're going to do mushroom farming too. So we'll have plenty of trees to harvest and then replant new ones for the future. That way we're kind of working with nature, not against it. Kind of walk through here real quick. We have a lot of magnolias here. I like them. They're very pretty. They do really good for, uh, you know, growing certain tropicals under them. It helps with uh, the dew getting on the plants because they're uh, evergreen. They're not always losing their leaves. Come over here. We got a lot of oaks out here. We have different pines too. There's one right there, different type. We got six acres. My stepdad's been helping me clear just the middle part. I've been reusing the wood as a boundary to kind of break down and feed the plants. Also, break or cutting it up to sell for wood. And then we're going to be reseeding different trees in the front and the back. You want to work with nature, not against it. But it's beautiful out here. It's starting to, the leaves are starting to change. Look at that. We're coming up on the back of a beehive. Right here we have seedling uh, persimmons. I will use these as root stalks. Right to my left is a terea tree. They're really endangered. I have a few, I only have one in the ground, but I have a few others that I'm gonna plant soon and try to keep these safe. They had an issue with blight in the early century, like probably 17, 18, they got over harvest because they they call it gopher wood and they use that wood to build on the, the steamboats. So they've really been knocked back. The ones up north the mountains, they're doing a lot better because the blight can't get them. All right, here's some bees. My one beehive, they're really strong, they're really good. Here's some sugar cane that I cut up and I planted some back. It's doing really well. We have tons of little seedling persimmons. Over here I have a loquat. We got some milkweed, a loquat, loquat. I even have a pawpaw in the ground. I got some bamboo growing from cuttings. They're an invasive one, but I'm keeping them in here so they don't multiply. I got a, a block under it. Here's some palm, here's some palmettos. Or cabbage palm I meant. Here's the pawpaw. The weather's changing the leaves. I got another one I need to plant. These are from seed. Takes about six years from seed and up. Got a lot of bananas, not not a name variety. They do have a little fruit that tastes alright taste okay but it's it's pretty up in here my little subtropical area here's some more magnolias here's a pretty maple tree not the Japanese maple but just the regular maple beautiful little leaves it looks similar to sweet gum but sweet gum has a different leaf shape let's walk in here to this little subtropical area here's my beautiful canna lilies I'll, I grew one from seed and I split this one and it has made so many flowers and seed pods these are the seed pods I'll have to make a video on them how to propagate them it's got some uh, figs some blackberries some figs this is white uh, now this one's an Olympia fig and these are the whites ones I can't remember the name I have to go back here's some lemongrass I have a long one that's air layered one from seed Here's an ice cream tree that was got kicked from the weather, but it's coming back better. It's putting off new leaves. Got that on one of my trips. Here's my avocado from seed. It's the real long one. My girlfriend's family live in near Miami, and they gave me a fruit from one of their trees they grew from seed. That's over 10 years old. Here's my uh, my worm area where I break down compost. I break down 
like toffee grounds, fruits and vegetables that I have and the worms eat it. See if we can see some, yeah, worms and these uh, black soldier flies. Then the tea comes down into here and I feed the plants. Let's walk over here. I even have a kapok floss silk tree. I got them covered, real tropical. Same here, I even have a, a mango from seed that came from down south from my girlfriend's uh, mother and father's tree. From seed, really tasty. Here's a mahogany, papaya, a little spider on it. <clears throat> Here's even a star fruit tree. Look how beautiful it is. Got a little slate rock on the back, help thermal and block the wind. We got some more bananas. Here's a lime tree. Got a big one at the other place in the pot. Here's a banana tree. Let's take a walk up here. We're already at six minutes. Here's a longleaf mahogany tree. They're rare. Got one at Native Nursery. Looks like squirrels digging up the root. I'm telling you, I love nature, but I'm not really big on squirrels and deer. You don't realize how much damage they do. Another cabbage palm I planted from seed. It's growing really well. Here's some pine cone ginger. This side. Got another long one from seed. Fox fern. Foxtail fern from seed. Here's the other beehive. It's a bigger box. Uh, a two deep box. The other one that you've seen before, it needs to have another box ready for on top of it. I have one getting ready. The bee was like, leave me alone. Flying around me. You see him? He's trying to see what I'm doing. I ain't gonna hurt you. All right, here's uh, here's my pinto palm. Here's the the yucca, not the yucca you eat, but the the plant yucca of Native America or uh, North America. Man. Here's another longan from seed. Got some more. Here's a lot of uh, uh, baby wild passion vines that are native here. And here's the tropical one I've been growing that I've been talking so much about doing super well with this it's got warm again so a lot of the fruits are taking off we had uh, I think five fruits take off there's another one that took off here's a big one that's doing really well see how good the plants doing well I love this plant I did a few cuttings can't go wrong having more here's a drawer Barbados cherry this one doesn't have a very tasty fruit it has it's a mild flavored fruit. Oh, there's a fruit right there. So this is the big one. And they do these runner roots. Well, it's actually the root hangs down and then the root puts off new uh, shoots and then it starts its whole little plant. So you could cut this and make a new plant. So let's take this fruit, see if it pulls off. It's not actually ready yet, but I wanna open it for you. It's juicy. Got a lot of vitamin C. Let's see if I can't turn the phone around so you can see me try this one. I just keep hoping every time I eat it. It's almost like a hint of almost sweetness and it goes away. And it's real fruity. A little fruity and then a mild taste. Not much of um no not the sweetness goes away. It's almost something, but it's not bad. I can handle it. Maybe it tastes kind of like a blueberry with a lot of seeds in it, but no flavor. You know the skin. It has these big seeds in it. Had three of them. There you go. I like them. It's a good source of vitamin C. Then uh, over here. We're gonna go check out the garden real quick. See if I have enough gigabytes on the phone. Let me try to hurry. Uh, a lot of these will soon be cut back. They're starting to be affected by the winter. The cooler weather I meant, there's a nice one I gotta cut off. Here's some cayennes, a lot of cayennes. Here's my most favorite, Chili Congo. I got these from Negro Agua for my trip. 
Got it from my girlfriend's aunt. Love her family. Check them out. You can make all kinds of stuff with these chili congos. I love them fresh too. Let's find one that's really red. <clears throat> Here you go. These have a kick to them. Let's see how I can handle it. I dropped it on the ground. Oh yeah, real juicy. And it's got a lot of flavor to it. The heat's already hitting me. Real seedy. <coughs> oh yeah. This one's hot. So I planted some uh, some greens in here. See them all coming up. I gotta thin them out soon. Wow, this one's really hot. You don't need much of this to put... <coughs> oh my gosh. To put in your food and co cooking. Alright, overlook me. Here's some more fix. <coughs> Went my windpipe. Oh, there's a mulberry that I did from earlier. From the parents' place. From an another tree. Another white fig. And there's another one. Excuse me. Overlook that. Overlook that. That's how you know they're really hot. And they taste so good in cooking. Even my girlfriend's dad said these are hotter than what he's used to. So I'm doing something different to it. Probably giving them less water. Look how beautiful they are. Chili Congo. It's Blake's Natural Life. I'll show you more another day. I just want to show you a little bit right now. But right behind me, I meant to show you. Had a few more. That's a, uh, that's a mor moringa. See how big it is? And then we have olive, olive trees right here. These are the ones for uh, oil. Hey, catch you later. Have a good one. I gotta get some water. Oh yeah.